Hello people! Welcome back to uh, Last Day on Earth Survival! I've completed my boat and started the titanium farming and honestly it is a massive pain in the behind to farm titanium. I have gotten so far a, quite a decent amount. I've got enough to make I think 40, 40 titanium ingots but I want to get a stockpile of about 100 roughly. 100 ingots that is, not um just this stuff. So I'm going to jump over to the titanium zone and yeah, just show you what I do to farm titanium. Hope you find it somewhat helpful. Okay there people, hello hello. I'm over on the dead island and now as anyone will know that has seen any of my videos before, I go massive overkill for everything. Moderation is not a word in my vocabulary for this game. So what you're going to need at the minimum with you is the manual earth drill and 2C4. The rest is obviously interchangeable. This is just what I'm choosing to farm it with before people start shouting at me for going overkill. I know I'm going overkill. I like to use a grenade launcher here. Oh, hello. And that's why, because I hate those things. So, they will slow you down and tear apart your armor a little bit. We have got this zone and it is absolutely full of stormtroopers. I don't get why this zone is so difficult. And yeah, do not get hit by Grona Spit because Literally, that Grona spit has almost taken out my armor already. So what you're going to want to do is come into the zone and make sure you do not smell. Don't try and find titanium if you're smelly. And then just literally sneak straight round to this side, hugging this wall. Try not to aggro anything over there. And you're going to sneak your way into the cave. Voila. And then you can just slowly take things out. If you're an idiot, you will waste a shot like that. And if you're an even bigger idiot, you'll use a grenade launcher on faster biters. So these are literally just fast biters and bloaters. So you can take them out of melee if you want, but for the purpose of the video and to keep it brief, we're doing it like this. So then you get your drill and you go like that and farm the titanium. And you will get anywhere from one to three titanium ore per node mined. So if you're lucky, the drill will actually get enough titanium to make another drill. However, quite often times it won't. So it takes five ingots to make the drill, which will be, that's what, 15 titanium ore? So you'll need to farm a bare minimum of 15 titanium ore just to break even on the drill, which should easily be doable. Right, and then we've got this next room, and this is where the zombies actually get quite fun. Now, luckily, we haven't got the zombie bear here, which can spawn and does spawn quite often in this room right at the entrance and then this here is where you're going to get the most of the titanium from so you run over to this you stick a c4 in it and you run away and then it goes boom so we have got five titanium resources found boom we now have 11. every single bit of wool you blow up will give you six titanium ore there will be two sections you can blow up on each island and i'm going to get some armor okay we now got swat's armor and again, you just got to want to keep on being sneaky here. And honestly, the silencer on this gun is awful. That is not a very good silencer. Because that was still very loud. And goodbye, Groner. Again, do not get hit by the spit of anything here. It will tear your armor apart. And make farming here so much more difficult. Right, and then just kill everything. However, in this zone, there is a little boss to kill. In the form of a lurker. But there are... A lot. Oh my god, why is it not shooting? Thank you. Okay. So somewhere in here we will find the lurker to kill. And when they show up, it's a pain in the butt because you get absolutely swarmed. And there's the lurker. Do not get hit by the lurker's um, debuff effect. Which doesn't seem to want to show off at the moment. Okay, cool. Lurker's just chilling out. One dead lurker. Now, unfortunately, the lurker doesn't actually drop any loot at all. Whereas the zombie bear will give you, what is it called? Um, big bones. Right, and then this zone normally has three bits. So two that you can mine and then one that you blow up. And boom, one titanium ore from that. So each visit to the dead island will give you about 20 titanium. Maybe more if you're very lucky on what you get from using the drill. Boom. 
And then you pick up that. And voila, we have got 21 this time. Aren't we very lucky? And yeah, that is everything on the island. This island is absolutely covered in stormtroopers and frenzy giants. So this is genuinely, this is the best way to work your way through the island. Because that there is a frenzy giant and a stormtrooper. Uh, that there is another frenzy giant. And then there's two more sets of three stormtroopers. The stormtroopers always spawn in threes. So there's nine of them on the island. Uh, two frenzy giants and a load of groaners and other things. Speak it of. And that has done a lot of damage to your armor. So groaner has the same effect as the ravager. And then, once you have farmed up all of your lovely titanium, you're going to need sand in order to make the thing, make the ore. So for that, you get it at the sand quarry. Obviously, if you have already unlocked the, the um, dead island, you'll have sand already. But just for the sake of completion for the video, I'll show you quickly how you get sand. Unbelievably, you need a shovel, but you also need a bucket. No, you, you don't need a bucket. Right, yeah, so sand, very easy. You just come into this zone. It's quite an easy zone. Farming sand is really nice and relaxing. These, obviously, you can just take out a melee. It's labelled as a red zone, but it definitely isn't a red zone. And there you go. Voila, you just pick up the sand with a shovel. All these purple nodes are quartz. You're going to need a lot of quartz. However, as soon as you unlock the island, you're not going to need a lot of quartz. Because once you've unlocked the island, you're probably over the rush to get stockpiling and complete as much as possible, as fast as possible. So literally, as soon as you unlock the island, I would say don't even bother farming quartz anymore because it takes quite a lot of resources. So it takes the um, metal pickaxes to farm. And then you have to smelt it as well. And it's quite ex expensive to smelt. It takes a while. So honestly, just if you, it would be cheaper to get quartz by clearing out the sewer, but which will give you um, just glass. So that'll give you like what fourteen glasses a max per run, whereas quartz it takes four quartz to make one piece of glass, and you'll get about seventeen quartz per visit to the island, uh, per visit to the quarry. So yeah, it's literally it's just better. Come here for sand, don't bother about coming here for quartz after you've completed the tower. Obviously, entirely up to you. But yeah, this is how you get titanium. Bye.